Oh, and the bathroom? Shit. Let's check out the bathroom. The lonely lady. This is another one we can get out of the way. I offered to chat the lonely lady. Hey, there's some new writing. What are you like? Show up back. Guess what? I wear a suit at work. <laughs> That's such a lame fucking line, but whatever. You're having fun there, Majima. Good for you. Oh my god, I finally got more cards. I have to do all of those. Fuck. Oh, wow. It's actually not doing another face-off. Okay. Well, I know where there is one more side quest. It's mostly just a conversation. Oh, never mind. Here he's back. Nope. No way. Hey, it's that boy again. Oh, my God. Hello, Majima son. It's my family. I have from like far as usual. From afar, like usual, I see. Don't see me see your wife anywhere though. Yeah, I think she has a part at her part-time job. Okay. Hey, kiddo. Just enjoying standing there on the street like a weirdo. What's his name? Yusuke Kun looks huh. bored being by himself. Akatani, why don't you go play with him? Huh? But who cares about your face? Shouldn't matter if you play with him as a total stranger. <sighs> that might be true, but oh, for crying out loud! Come on, man. I'll go with you. Let's go. <laughs> Majimathon, wait. It's such a far thing we have to load. What is that on the floor next to him by the bench? Are those like needles or something gross? Ah. Hi, misters. What's up? Damn it, I ran up to this given now. What do I say to him? Let's play, Yusuke Kun. <gasps> Come play with us, huh? How do you know my name? Uh, well, because I heard it from this guy here, huh? But mm -hmm. who are you? This is bad, Majimathon. I've never had anything to do with the point of my current identity. Oh, that's right. Got careless. Sorry, sorry. My mistake. I just got ahead of you look like Yusuke. Looking all suspicious now. What is it? What are you up to? I was watching these ants. Is that fun? Not really. What the heck? Do you play at this park a lot? Yep. My mom's just not working. And by myself, if mom has to work, that's terrifying. When my dad was here. He used to play with me, but he's gone now. Skin, do you miss your dad? Sure, I miss him. But if I say that, my mom gets sad and lonely too. So I don't play. Say I'm sad anymore. Wow, you're a strong boy. Hee <laughs> hee. Would it be okay if us old guys joined you so we can watch these ants together? Sure, let's do that. Thank you. He's this kid's father, right? Knows how to deal with this kid. Except, you know, not being a Yakuza who <laughs> gets his face offed. I have to go home now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Shit, I almost blew it. Thank you, Majima. I made possible to yeah. I was thinking maybe I forced it a little too much. Ah, you might be right, but thanks to you, I got to be with my son. I couldn't be any happier. I have to be going, too. Akatani's got work to do. See you, Majima son. Wahoo, we did it. Akatani sure seem happy. Made sense finally talking to his son again. Oh no. Who are these guys? Mysterious men. Hey, you got some business with him? Oh! I'm sure this won't end poorly. Uh uh. What's with them? I know you, Majima is truly one of life's greatest mysteries. Uh, yep, that's the bathroom. I wear a suit at work. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, this is the mom. Hello. Uh, excuse me, huh? What's up? This is right. She's away Fakatani. You see my little boy? He would have been alone. Little boy, you mean Yusuke Kun? Yeah. Yes, but how did you know that? Well, I actually got to be friends with your boy and played with him the other day. Oh, I see. Have you seen Yusuke today? I came to get him, but he's not here. <sighs> Can't say I have. Oh, I found his ball just lying here. I'm positive he was here oh. earlier. Brian, I'll keep an eye out for him. Yes, please. I'll keep looking here. I'm sure he has gone many miles across the city to find you. And by that I mean, he's literally right the fuck over here, I think. What do you know? I was totally on the money. Oh, that was the million yen vending machine. Yusuke-kun, your mom's looking for you. Mister, something wrong? Some scary people came when I was playing at the park. Scary people? Yep, they tried to take me away, so I ran away. What? They were big and scary. They kept calling me Akatani's brat. Akatani's brat. Akatani, the guy who got his face changed. They're onto him. Yusuke-kun, your mom's waiting for you at the park. We gotta get back to her. I'll keep you safe, all right? Okay. We have such a long journey to go. Somehow you outwitted these guys by running ten feet. It's crazy. 
Oh, hello, Bob. I saw Yusuke Kun too. I can tell you, have I seen you? I mean, Yusuke yeah. Kun's Bob right here? No, I haven't. I just got here myself. Is there a problem? Well, let's see. Nah. Hey, Akatani, who are you people? Oh. Ah. Mom. Hmm. Yusuke, you're famous for being a lone wolf. No ties, no easy. It wasn't easy to find out how we could get to you. But our diligence paid off. After following around, we noticed you're taking a lot of interest in these two. You're out of your mind. I don't know these people. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't bother from rough them up, huh? Uh. Mom. Stop. No family history, no friends or lovers. You kept yourself invulnerable as a stone cold snake. Who would have thought you'd have this chink in your armor? Knife. If you don't want to see this bitch die, take that knife and kill yourself. What the fuck? See, if we keep doing what if we keep doing what you're doing, our business keeps taking hits we can ill afford. That said, if we already got out that we dealt with you ourselves, it might it would complicate how we do business. So let's settle this amicably. You go ahead and kill yourself. This has got nothing to do with us, see? Jeez, that's dark as shit. Like, wow, is this dark. Oh? What's wrong? It's great, too, for one day. You get to save both the bitch and the brat and return for your life. Doesn't get any better than that. You promise? Sure. Yeah, totally, obviously. Hey, this woman said you say you're gonna spare. Who might that be? Is what? You got numbers, but you gotta take a hostage when you're too chicken to get blood on your own hands. If that ain't textbook definition of cowardly, then I'm rewriting the dictionary. <laughs> we hope to keep this nice and clean, but that's not happening. When a job needs doing, I guess it's best to just get it done. Akutani, you keep Yusuke Kun and his mom safe. Got it. Wait, why is this? You're up first, you meddling asshole. You're dead. I like how Majima's just like, oh, my hair is so itchy. Oh, how did that miss? Oh, that was nice. Oh, hello. No, Majima, grab somebody. Oh my god, he just shot me with a gun. Yeah, just get down. Oh, shit. Fuck. Stop it, dude. Get off. I'll play with you later. Oh, wait. Can I, can I adjust? Fuck. I wanted to do the adjust grip move that I thought I had. Fucking stop with the stun lock, dick. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just cut him up. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this murder Majima just did. I'll just kick him in the nuts. That was some sick knife murder right there, right? No, he took all of us alone? Damn. You boys seem to have the wrong impressions. Let me set you straight. The lady and the kids are strangers to Akatani. That's a lie and you know it. <laughs> If you don't want to believe me now, I suppose I'll have to do a better job of convincing you. Make you permanently? I don't I don't care either way, but it's your call, so make it. Ah, I believe you, I believe you. Don't you ever trust an innocent individual again. If you do, I will hunt you. I will find you. And I will end you. God, I never again mercy. He's also a taken reference. Oh my god. You sure can't bring the menace out in your voice. Haha, <laughs> it's useful in my new line of work. Mom, he's uh, gay. Hi. Talk to him. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to go through that. It's all because of me. You're the man who's always in the park. I'll never show my face around you again. If you could, please forgive me. Mister, thank you for protecting us from those bad people. Yuko, please take care of Yusuke. Pardon? Yusuke, from now on, you protect your mom. You got that? Yes. Okay, take care. Goodbye, face off. Majibasan here. This is for saving Yuko and Yusuke. Sakura Storm! Swords. You sure about this? This don't feel right. Me around my family be in danger. This is how it has to be. They can hear you. Literally right there. Mom, that man, is he? Hmm? Oh my fucking god, this mom is a brain dead idiot. No, but... The kid is smarter than the mother. 
Dat mister. Oh, I caught the ball. And by that, I mean it appeared in my hand. <laughs> Let's play catch again sometime. Oh my god, this kid. Too smart for this mom. Might have been like, grr, I don't get to cut his face off, too. This refresh? Nope. Let's see, if I leave the park, is it going to refresh? Because I... So if we can do this toilet... Really? It didn't refresh. Interesting. Well, if we can do the uh, toilet sub-story done and this last one, that'll be a perfect session. And look, this guy is getting bullied. What's happening? What are you guys doing? And then next time we'll get back to the real story. Get real, you leech. Huh? What's all this then? Screw your little sales tax. You want us to pay a tax every time we buy something? You bloodsuckers, you bleed the whole country dry. I understand your anger is justified, but it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. Get stuff. You're going to pay sales tax on the fancy suit you're wearing, you damn bureaucrat. The tax is only made to keep the common people down. Yeah, you vulture. That younger guy is sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue. Guess my lucky didn't run into a son of a bitch bureaucrat trying to spring the new sales tax on us all alone in a back alley. I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace and I'm here to tell you we're fucking pissed. Yeah, why don't you give a little taste? Why don't we give you a little taste of public opinion? They don't know what a pressure feels like. Please calm down. Violence isn't the answer. Don't do this. Uh, this pot's about to boil over. We gotta protect the tax kid. Please calm down. Shut it, asshole. Hey, fellas, let's tone it down, huh? No sense scam for one guy. Have a little pride, huh? What? You don't know who this cockroach is, do you? It's the pencil-pushing dick while they came up with the sales tax. Sales tax? What? Don't you watch the news? This new tax they're gonna start charging next year. Every time you buy something, they're gonna charge you 3% more as tax. Isn't that ridiculous? What? That is some bullshit. And this guy's the douchebag? That's highway robbery. Ah! Whoa, I almost lost it for there. For a second there. Listen, guys, I totally understand why it pissed you off, but beating this guy to a pulp isn't gonna make some of this make the sales tax go away, is it? Who gives a shit? The government needs to know what the people think of their shit policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action. Yeah, power to the people. If you ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You want to stick up for this mosquito that will show you the power of the masses too. So what you're really after is blowing off steam. Sure, see, see how far that gets you with me. Prepare for the revolution, ass. <laughs> Prepare for the revolution. Just what a dumb line. Oh, look at the swing, swing, swing. And kick. And the bat really did work. I'm sorry, I was out of line. Ah, oh, it won't happen again. Public outrage sure fizzles fast. Thank you for stepping in. They were out for blood. I'm Takio. Tayo Matsuzato. Tayo is in the sun. If I may, can I buy you a drink? As thanks. That's a good name. I'm Majima. Don't yeah. be friendly. Thanks, though. Oh, no. I absolutely insist. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you, though. You're some kind of political big shot. Well, I don't have as much in the way of rank and power, but I am in a position to help steer the country. I came to Southern Board for a conference on taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to pace the public about it. You're driving a tank called the government. Even if you're careful, people are going to get pissed when you steamroll them. Damn. But you're trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You gotta take some pride in that. Do you think so? Maybe we won't have a new tax, but only on a logic level. When I saw it emotionally, I got a better goal. It was daunting. They fight out sales tax only the tip of the iceberg. There are more taxes the way. I hate to think how people yep. react. What? More taxes? I was just sure we could see many more effective ways of generating revenue streams. In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. That's so. Well, I guess if everyone making such, such good money these days, you can't fault the government for wanting to get in their hands in the pie. Yes, but as you've seen firsthand, we have to consider public opinion. I wonder if it really can't come up with a tax box that everyone can live with. Good luck with that. Everyone, even if they're throwing cash into the fireplace, nobody wants the government to hold out its hand. Yeah, that's where I'm stuck. I haven't found the right balance, and I'm a little lost at the moment. Well, I can't say I understand a lick of what you're trying to do, but take care of the country for us, all right? Wait, mind you a second, can we just once more? Huh, you got a mob waiting to string up? Oh no, not that, I want to get your views on taxation. What? I know less, I know less than nothing. That's why you're perfect. You see, I just had this idea, perhaps some, someone who is completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective, you think? Please, Majima San, it's no exaggeration. The fate of this country rests on your shoulders. Will you please give me advice on taxation policy? See why I wanted this one on camera? I get to help with tax and government. 
Wow, Majim is cool. Yeah, okay, you win. Let's talk some taxes. Thank you. Your insight will be invaluable. This is probably a place for it. Can we go somewhere more appropriate? Sure, lead the way. Hey, better keep in mind, I don't know the first thing about tax policy. Don't expect much. No, that's exactly why I asked you. I know you'll have some unique insights, not bound by social conventions. So we're just going to strike gold in the copper mine. Well, let's just make sure you're not completely in the dark with the basic questions. Sure. Do you know why the government collects taxes? To keep the public down. Some people would definitely pick all of those answers. Public services. Ah, yes, that's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. As you say, much of taxes are collected mainly for providing public services. Education, medical care, the police, fire department, so much more. Paid for bed taxes, paid for the services the people need to survive. Yeah. We gotta build roads and bridges and keep them in working order, right? Hi. There's more to it than that. Exactly. They also serve other purposes as it pertains to general wealth. We don't need to get into that much detail. <laughs> Whole lot, I don't know. Oh, but you aren't interested in where your money goes? It's always good to know where you know more about taxes. Yes, I'm getting proper school in here. Okay, let's shift to the main theme. If you're interested in collecting taxes, what would you tax? Tobacoa. Sato san. Why not try to tax on tobacco? Tobacco, you say? Interesting. Since the government monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago, there are extras in a small tax. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay a tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. If you're going to jack up taxes, it's the non-essential stuff that you start with. People might even be less likely to understand tax. Even more likely to understand the tax on the smokes, right? Yeah. see. A tobacco tax, yes. Tax are on 200 now. People bitch and moan, but I think they'll still fork over 300. I see. Interesting. At the foreign market, though, I think I'd have a long, hard think about each pack being <laughs> worth it. Yes, I think at that point I'd consider cutting back on my intake, too. What about 500 a pack? I'd probably quit cold turkey. You'd quit at 500? Huh? You'd raise it incrementally, huh? He started muttering all of a sudden. What else do you think would have potential for taxation? I think something else close tied to everything everyday living. Gasolina. What, Jack, and get hacked some gasoline? Yeah. Ah, gasoline tax. Why not? People which cars are obviously living up here. Why not skip a little more off the top? Price gas depend on the cost of petroleum. So people have experienced price hacks before. They should be used to price creep, actually. There's also a potential tar provisional tariff on gas tax. Yes, it's certainly going to raise tax too much. Why all the muttering? Majima, what do you not get? Yeah. You're not feeling that one either? Oh, no. Far from it. I think it's fantastic. It'll definitely fall upon it. Majima's costing the Japanese people billions and trillions of yen for years to come. Good to hear. Majima-san, anything else? You have anything else to say on the matter of taxation? Anything else? Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Sales taxes because we're all riled up. Yeah, so next year we're going to start paying 3% hey. on top of everything we buy, right? Yes, that's how it works. Well, why stop at 3? Sure, you can go up in that rate. In at that, go in at that rate, but why don't you more bump it up? That'd be impossible. Much of you saw what happened. Just three percent tax cost so much outrage. People want to tear me apart. Yeah. Charge more, probably in an open revolt. No, no. You need to think. People pissed because you sprang a new thing on them. You had to turtle up. You got to think about the long game. The long game. Familiarity is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people bitch and moan about the shiny new tax. Once it becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing to bitch and moan about. True that. Well, that's when you start gradually turning the screws. Majima, you're literally fucking over Japan for decades. Every time you hike it up a little, you get some more blubbering, but they won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time. You wanna know why? Because they'll be used to getting screwed. Wow, that's not a good... <laughs> it's something they've already accepted gets a little worse. They'll just do the facts of life. So if you want to pull in the cash, you gotta plan to really amp up. Majima, I'm getting goosebumps. And I think you're terrifying, actually. Are you even of this earth? Yeah, you really could be in government, Majima. Fuck. Hey, you really wanna know? No, not really. We have the sales tax for your race. How high do you think it should go? How high should it go? It's sort of three, five. See ya. Maybe around five. I see, five. Yes, considering the burden represents the people, that sounds perfect, but I get the feeling that would only be a temporary solution. That's something. I'm just thinking what I'm comfortable with personally. I'm pretty off pissed if it went higher. Maybe from, from initial three to five. Wait a little longer. See, he just jumps to eight if you don't say it. Hiked up to eight. Then eventually, we'd... enough with the muttering under your breath, Tayo chan. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Mitchell, I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Yeah, glad I was useful. Useful as I'm beginning to describe it. Please take this. It's took my thanks. Ash wood, whatever. I beg it going. I need to prepare my tax presentation. Hi. Attaboy, do your country proud. We'll do. <sighs> Never figured I'd resist to give a guy in the business runner country advice. Tayo chan seemed to get a good handle on how to jack up taxes. Wait, jacking up taxes? Did I just, if taxes go up, is it my fault? Nah, no way. No, much more, no. Majima-san, you dum-dum, you made taxes go up.
What a stupid, stupid head. All right, is the, yep. Ah! Oh, fuck. All right, fine, I'll go the other way, jerks. Whatever, guys, I'll go this way then, because you're jerks. I don't like you. To the park. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, there's two groups? That's the toilet. Let's check on it. Let's find out where this pretty girl is. Alright, which one of the screws are. What do you like? I wear a suit. That's what I wrote in play. I like that. When you see this message, can you come to the phone booth and show Fu Chuko West? I can't wait to meet you. The lonely lady wants to meet. I'll have a red lose in my rappel. I'll be waiting. Don't stand me up. Rena. I can't believe I'm making an actual connection through graffiti. Wow. Her message looks fresh. Maybe I'll catch lonely Rena and show Fu Chuko West. Uh... No, 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 no. Is this it? I don't know. Probably not, but... Nope. It's probably this way. Run, Majima! Run! Oh. Here we go! Lonely Arena! You know this was ran here with random red rose. Not seen her, though. Oh no, it was punks all along. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. We got a sucker. Huh? Here, hope we meet a lovely lady, didn't you? Sucks to be you. She doesn't exist. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. We're the sexy lady you're looking for, my friend. One of you fools are pretty handle it. <laughs> really? Are you that thick or what? There was never a woman. She doesn't exist, you dumbass. Damn it all. All it takes to send a woman to get dumb shit's like you come running their tongues out and then. Ticks popping out of their zipper. You should see the looks on their face and beat the shit out of them and take anything worth taking. It's the strangest thing, too. They never seem to want to go to the cops afterwards. Guess them must tell fuzz the legend dicks do the thinking. <laughs> I think this language pretty goddamn clever, ain't it? Huh? Oh, it's clever, all right. Clever enough for me to kill you. You finally figured it out and get ready to lose those fancy clothes and all the cash you got on you. Or I'll kill you. That, too, is an option. <laughs> Can we just bounce off each other? Oh, yeah. Look at the machine go. Name Majima. Yeah, there we go. Oops, 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 oops. You get a home run all your own. Yeah, just like that. And then nail all your down. <laughs> oh, we screwed up the wrong guy. We're sorry. We'll stop luring people here with our pretty hand. I take this calming towel. So it's right, like can't fulfill the oldest trick in book. It's men bathroom again. Why would woman be in there? Standard name and graffiti. Rena, my ass. Wait, bathroom. Rena. We were writing on a bulletin board at the train station on the uh -huh. Mayumi. What? Well, screw it anyway. You feels better not ever get up this kind of tom fuckery ever again. Got it? Yes, sir. Never again. So we happened to meet a completely different group of guys from a different group of graffiti. Yo, Chan, wait for me. <sighs> yeah, it serves you right for being so gullible, Goro. I ain't gonna forget this for a long while. And then the sadness happens. Uh. Goro, she's right. Majima, she's right there. Majima. I guess the man in the suit isn't coming after all. What a shame. Blat, blat, blat. Majima walked away because he's a dum dum. A dum dum da dum dum da dum dum. Oh, for some reason, that gives us a video clip. All right, I think we're finally done. Holy smokes. Oh, fuck me! I found another one? Clear a path. Oh, God. Fine, we'll do this one. Shit. Be careful, you can't barrel through a crowd. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. It's, what's the big rush? I have to go to the convenience store. That one over there. 
You got real problems. You need to take convenience store that bad. Yes, I have to get some lip balm right away. Seriously? Yes, lip balm. I'm in a hurry, so I have to run now. Bye. Good. Uh, hey, what's up? You in some sort of pain? Oh, yeah, my feet have been sore since this morning. Why don't you slow down a bit and go easy on yourself? Because if I don't run, I won't make it in time. This is getting real cryptic. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I really have to get going. Bye. <sighs> Must be a real emergency man. That kind of tearful lip balm. Maybe his lips are like sandpaper or something. All these things sound reasonable, Majima. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with one more guy. One more time. Oh, the boy on his ass. fellow's in a hurry to buy some lip balm. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Hey, you down again? Oh, hi again. My pain, the feet, the pain's spreading and worsening. Man, didn't I tell you to slow down and walk? Yes, I did, but I was in a hurry. How chapped were your lips? Ow, my feet. Hey, you gonna make it? Oh, if only I had some medicine. Some medicine, like some stamina and flick em, flack em royales that I keep having to give away. Uh, Pardon? You mean I can have this? Yes, all yours. Thank you so much. Now we load to a new animation. Ooh, the pain's fading away. Thank you again. Good to hear. By the way, did you get those oh? chapped lips you were taking here? Pardon? My chapped lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's well, not to understand? You were hauling ass to get lip balm. Oh, sorry the misunderstanding, because I'm a dummy, because I don't explain anything. It wasn't for me. I was rushing because the girl I like asked me to get it for her in a hurry. Oh, gotcha. You're doing a girl a favor. <laughs> yeah, basically. I run errands for like that for her like that all the time, because I'm a psycho. Really? And you don't mind being a little errand boy? Go get me this, run out and get that. Not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for her to, to get her to notice me. I can't shake the feeling this girl's just using but if that floats the boat, I ain't going to rock it. And because I'm so diligent about running errands, she's giving me a nickname. When I first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. That's so. What does she call you? She calls me Aaron Coon. <sighs> and a nickname you proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor and it cuts too deep. Listen, that nickname of yours, you really, did you realize she's turned you into her personal oh? servant, don't you? Huh? Is that really how it looks? Even if that were true, I still have a crush on her, so that's all that matters. It's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground, literally. The medicine's nice, a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you're, mm. all, you're all healed up. Maybe right, I'll try talking to her and see if she gives me permission to stop <sighs> running errands a bit. She's not a quitter, I'll give him that. But if she wants anything, I gotta, I've got to be the one who gets it out to her. It has to be me! Oh, I should be going. Thank you so much. All right, we're not finishing his sub-story. Basically, the girl has a boyfriend. She's just being a dick, just like Majima thought. You beat up the boyfriend, and they leave him alone. I understand. Impressing. I have to go buy shoes for him. That's why I don't feel like doing this. You have to, like, hunt down. I forget which store it is. One of them sells shoes, and you go buy shoes for the kid. And he's like, oh, thanks, man. And it's just... And the girl's like, ha, ha, ha. I make him do the worst things, and he's such a dumb piece of shit. He never gets it. And Majima beats up the boyfriend because they're both pieces of shit. So yeah, we're not we're not doing that on camera. Plus, my voice is running ragged at this at this point. So I'm just heading to a save point to call it a day. I'll probably try to find any more if there's any more after this. Oh right, this is the. Is there anything worth getting CP with on Majima? Money magnet. Giving agents extra funds? Oh my god. Ugh. All I want to get is, like, Limit Breaker for both of them. That's all I really care about. These are just fucking... That's useless. These are all so not worth... Sure. Just to say we invested a little bit in Majima. Alright, so for next time, we're gonna go to Majima's apartment, finally. And actually play the video game. But thank you all for sticking around. I Some of these are just the stupidest, most hilarious sub-stories ever. I just had to show them on camera. But for next time, we'll get back to the real important shit, like finding the cards. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Stupid, and I will catch you guys later.